What's going on YouTube? Gabriel White here representing the movement towards improvement down here at Reedy Creek Golf Course, one of the best par 3 courses in all of San Diego. This place is not easy by any means, but it's also not too hard where the architecture's dumb and you're like, okay, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, this course is actually pretty tough. It's, and they took out bunkers and it's still kind of tough. It's tough. It's a good design from tee to, to green. It's a par 3 course and the green layout is really well done as well. So you guys, we're gonna talk you through some shots. So yeah, we're just gonna have some fun, film some shots for a short game challenge. Like my buddy Jimbo Logic says, ooh, get some. <laughs> is that what he actually says? He does, he's a long drive guy, so he hits a go and he's like, ooh, get some. It's a little weird, but that's cool. Yeah, well you're weird. I am a little weird. Okay, you guys, got 142 to the pin, back left. Uh, I'm gonna take an eight iron. We got wind into us playing at 150. This is the first swing of the day, so I ain't sure as hell ain't trying to grab a full club and swing hard. Take it easy on the body. A little uphill slope, choke up a little bit. Yeah, first swing, it's a dead straight ball. Solid. Uh, right in the middle, way right, right. It's gonna be a tough putt, but first swing of the day. Okay, Blair, what club do you have? All right, I got a pitching wedge, because unlike Gabe, I played nine holes earlier, so I'm pretty warmed up. Oh, be That's good. A nice way to start. That's right at it. Be good. Oh, yeah, looks, that should be that pretty looks, solid. That looks Woo! just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Woo! Ah, there's Dave walking over. Yeah, so they got a tucked back left pin here. My ball actually landed front of where the flag stick is kind of, the draw, and then even rolled out the green, it's about two paces off, so it puts about seven feet or so. Gabe's trundling his way over. There's a big ridge right here you can't hill. really see. She rolls. A little short. Probably. Yeah, bad. That's a pretty tricky putt. Okay, Blair, show them how many paces this pin's cut off the edge of the green. You got one, two. Just about, about two paces. I yeah. mean, this is a tuck pin back here. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of these today um, in this course. I mean, it looks like it might be like uphill and back down, you know? Yeah, it's gonna. I feel like it's going to break a lot. Might just gas this thing. Oh, Ooh, good putt. I did gas it. Damn. I'll take it. Okay, what do you got? Four and a half feet there? Yeah, four and a half feet. I was telling Blair these greens look really good where actually if you hit on your line, you feel like it's going to go in the hole. So I'm going to play this about right edge and just think about speed. Beauty. Yeah, these greens are nice. Okay, you guys, 135 down the hill. You can see there's the red pin kind of middle left. Got a little bit of water in front right. Um, but 135 shouldn't be too big of a problem. Okay, Blair, what club you got? I got a pitching wedge. Uh, I got 135. The wind's pretty heavy into us and coming from the right. Just like the last hole, pretty much, but... So I'll try to hit a little bit of a flighted shot here. Oh, that was nice. Sit. De definitely flighted. All right, good I, shot. Thanks. Cut a little thin, but it's fine. Okay, I'm same with Blair. I got a pitching wedge. I'm just gonna hit a, try a pretty big, decent draw. I'm just gonna put it back in my stance and try to hold off the finish. A little more hands ahead. Yeah, drew it, overdrew, and it's on the green. Yeah, I caught a piece. Come down. Okay, you guys, I probably got somewhere in the high 20s or something, but once again, this course really prides itself on being on the right part of the green. If you're a little below the hole, you got an uphill putt, not much break. And if you're where I'm at, you got a huge downhill left to right curler. So once again, just like the last hole, I gotta be pretty careful on the speed and the line because you get it close. Didn't hit that hard. Break a, ooh, that didn't break that much at all. Wow, I went racing by too. That's about another four footer. <laughs> You're good at those. All right, you got a, I got a downhill putt here. 
Maybe about 16 feet or so, 17. Should be a little right to left, not too difficult actually. There we go. Oh, right. wow. Got the putter going today, Wow, wow, huh? wow, 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 nice putt. Thank you. All right, Gabe, what do you got about four feet here? It's almost like the same putt as the last hole. Yeah, actually. this one's a little bit shorter. It's about, yeah, about four feet. Yeah, exactly, and you know, I'm lucky because it is about the same putt. I, I think all I gotta do is hit it right edge again with decent speed. I and mean, these are the putts you should practice the most on the putting green. That's why I mean, you practice those. I mean, that's those. a pretty easy putt. Yeah, and on good greens, you really have no excuse to miss those. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, you just got to basically hit it somewhere on your line. <laughs> hey, I'd rather be better at the first ones than the second ones. Here, here, matey. Okay, Blair, what do you got? I got an 8-iron. We got 177 uphill, but slightly downwind. And uh, I'm just going to full bore this in, because since it's uphill, I want to hit it almost as high as I can, so... Sounded good out yeah, the center. Yeah, right of the in the green. middle of the green. Yeah, that's gonna be pin high, about 20 feet or so. That was pretty solid. I mean, if you look at that pin, it doesn't even look like it's on the green. All right, Gabe, what do you got? I got a six iron. Um, I probably could hit a seven, but once again, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm just still pretty tight. I mean, this is my third swing of the day, and I just don't feel like making a full swing. So I'm gonna swing pretty soft on this. Try to hit a draw on there. If it doesn't come, it's just a little right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Short-sided. Ooh, Ooh, that's gonna be an interesting chip shot. Yeah, kind of well, a pull draw. With your, fun. with your masterful short game, you'll be able to Why pull are you always that complimenting me all the time? Because, you know, I, I kind of like you. Gives me the creeps, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> hey, you got, you got a nice belt. What's that, Nike? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a nice uh, fluffy microphone thing you have there, too. Thanks. You're welcome. That's an uh, ugly face you have there. Oh, thanks. I've, always, I've been working on this face. Yeah, work on it some more, will you? <laughs> okay. The greenskeeper woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. I mean, that's just about two paces again. One, two, I mean two and a foot. It's brutal. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try to land this pretty close to on the green. If I land a little short, I'll at least probably trundle on. But I'm gonna go pretty for the high route. And if anything landed on the green and give myself a putt, I probably want to keep this thing a little left because there's actually a little ridge about yeah, four feet to the right. Yeah, if you can see that ridge, there's a so pretty I'm big ridge right there that goes down. Look at this. Oh, let me, let me click record on this camera. I'm going to pancake this thing open, so. Wide open, wide stance, stable base. And I'm really going to really throw, throw that right hand and pop that club up where the grip's right next to my left pocket. But this is just, I mean, all feel from here. Big swing to get some speed, to create some spin. Okay. Handle low. Not too bad. That's about eh, ten feet or so. Went for a chance. I mean, literally, he had six feet to work with to land on the green, so it's not too bad. Okay, you're good. And I got an uphill, twenty foot right to lefter here. Um, there's a huge ridge I'm going up, so it's not the most makeable putt, but uh, you never know, I guess. Ah, that hill gobbled that thing. Ooh, that ran by good. Yeah. Three and a half feet. It's gonna be a tester. Crazy how fast that is. Any break in this player? Not if I hit it hard. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> These greens are a lot faster than I swear to God I can think of it. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, they're nice. If you guys are in town, come by. You're just some of the best around right now. Fall out. I'm hoping it continues to break because I feel like it's gonna straighten out at the end. You gotta commit to the line though, no matter what you choose. Yeah, I did. It broke just a little bit in the beginning and then just stayed straight there. I was telling Blair, it actually looks like it was canned this way, and it was. So it's a little bogey. Okay, Blair's got 132 to the pin. I'm gonna what club you got, Blair? I'm gonna really chip a nine iron here. The pin's all the way in the back, so like you can't really land it past the hole. 
and then there's a ridge in front of the hole that'll spin it back. So I'm gonna hit this thing really low, maybe land it right around 120, take a big old bounce and just kind of run up there. Just like that. Oh my gosh. Be good. Yeah, that's a dime. Wow. Sit. God, it still released a little bit. A little long, but well executed. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it's about as good as you can really do. Yeah. I got, it's 132. I'm gonna take a P, you know, with Blair. He hit that nine. He actually hit it just the way he wanted to, but I mean, if he was probably, what, four or five feet past that, he could have been in serious trouble. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna take a pitching wedge. I can't really go long with this club, so I'm just gonna knock down, knock down P. It's all over it. And get back there. Yeah. yeah, he caught that first ridge that I was telling you guys about. A little short, but hit well. It's not bad. Yeah, good swing. All right, Blair, give us a little uh, update on your outfit today. How did you come to this decision? Looks like you got the white and black on. You know what? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I saw my black pants that I wore yesterday and a black shirt on the ground that I haven't worn in a while and decided to put it together. 18 greens hat. Now, what's the, what's the uh, shirt? 18 green shirt? 18 green shirt, yeah. Belt? Uh, belt is Adidas. All right, pants? Uh, Adidas. And then Foot Joy? And then uh, Foot Joy Icon. You don't know what my socks are, too? They're Wilson. What about the undies? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know what my undies are. Well, you know, usually in the morning when I think about picking out an outfit, I try to think either of a food or uh, some sort of inanimate object. So I'm thinking blueberry, um, cherry pizza. You know, today was like a cherry type of day, all okay. red. Um, cloud. Um, cloud. Yeah, cloud. You've seen me wear the cloud outfit before. Yeah, I think I might the have silver seen Silver pants, kind of light blue shirt. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's a cloud. Um, that's so cloudish. That's how I do it. And then somehow we always end up dressing in very similar attire. It's yeah, it's been really weird. Like me and Blair will go to the course and we won't like see each other get dressed or anything and then he'll wear the same shirt as me. We've done that like two times. Uh, absolutely. And then even today, even though we're wearing the same shirt, we're both wearing like all one color, which is kind of, still kind of odd. It's kind of Because we both have ne haven't done that for like ever. <laughs> Okay guys, another hard putt. Like I said, this is what this course is, does so well, is you don't have a lot of, it's not far into the holes, 137, 120, et cetera, 97, but you gotta put the, put the ball on the right tier, or else, once again, I'm gonna go up and over this ridge, right to left, and I just gotta really get the speed right. I mean, if I was in a tournament, I'd have to really take my time on these. That's a great putt oh, there. That was a fantastic putt. I'll tap in real quick. You can't quick. really yeah, see was... it on camera, but there's an abundance of ridges in the screen. All right, good par. Thanks. So I got like a downhill 13 footer. It's kind of like on a spine. So it, it's really hard to decipher the break. I do know it's gonna be hella fast. So I'm gonna have to really watch my speed on this one. Oh man! He's got. You gotta watch your speed. He's gonna have another three and a half footer tester. God. I'm bringing the camera over for this one. Now, what do you try to think of these, Blair, when it comes to tournaments? Me? Yeah. Who else do you think I'm talking to? You? Oh, I guess that's true, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm honestly, I don't. I don't really think about these really in tournaments. You just you think just, of them as any other putt. You just think about making them, you know. I usually take a lot more time on them, you know, when I'm in a tournament, obviously. You never want to rush these things. God, oh. dude. Jesus. Did you hit it on your line? No. I mean, I don't know. I might have. I, I think I... I don't think I hit it hard enough. So, you There's some break there, yeah? There's a lot of break. I've been gassing them in the entire day until just now. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching that first part of our course vlog at Reedy Creek. Honestly, this is a little hidden gem. Oh, yeah. Um, great we've been, course. We've been playing here since we were like 12. Yeah, I love coming here, yeah. especially when the greens are good. I mean, this place is fun. So yeah. thanks for watching, guys. Leave any comments or questions down below if you like to, if you guys would like to see anything else. Hit me up on Facebook, Gabriel M. Ryder, Instagram, PJ Tour Driven. Check out my membership site. Um, Blair, tell them about our little trip. Hopefully that might be coming up. All right, so Gabe's trying to go to Hawaii in a couple weeks and uh, I would really like to go with him and meet Kelvin, hear nothing but good things about him. Uh, try to 
you know, improve my game a little bit and gave me some help with filming. We're, we have three tripods out here, a whole bunch of other equipment, so it'd be kind of tough for him to go out it alone. Uh, so I'm hoping uh, if, if you guys are interested, we're going to set up a GoFundMe website to try to get my plane ticket up there and for travel and then to pay Calvin for the lessons. And uh, hopefully we'll be up there a couple weeks, um, make a bunch of videos. What are you thinking, like 30 videos? Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to at least make a whole short game series. So when I first went to Hawaii, it was basically all golf swing content. Um, I believe Kelvin's got the best content on the golf swing there is. And so now we're going to go back, we're going to do some short game stuff. And just like me and Kelvin, or Kelvin and I, uh, <laughs> we study all the short game gurus, whether it's um, James Seekman, Pete Cowan, Pat Goss, Brett Rumford, um, Gabriel Herstat. We study all the short game gurus. And not only that, but we study what the best players in the world do. So quite honestly, I've bought a lot of short game DVDs, whether it's Phil Mickelson's, whether it's Seekman's, whether it's books on Dave Pell's. And I think I know just from being um, a student myself what they're missing. And I think we're going to put together a really kick-ass short game s series of videos. Not only going to show you exactly what to do from pitches to chips to flops to 20 to 30 to 60 to 80 yard shots. We're going to show you how to practice them yourself, work on the mechanics, and also check yourself using your camera so you know exactly where you need to be. And I think there isn't as much of a detailed program as we're going to make out there. Not complicated, but I just want people to know exactly what they need to do for each shot. So when they're out there, they, they have the specificity. Yeah, specificity, that's a totally a word. Yeah. Or it might be a word. I, I specificity, that's a word. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Specificity. <laughs> it's the of specificness. <laughs> so I we'll see. keep you guys updated on our hopefully to be trip here soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for support. Talk to you later. <laughs> Is that really a word, though? Fuck no. <laughs>